Hi, this is Lou. You know what? I'm not sure what the day is. I think it's, I know what day it is. It's 6-7. It's June 7th. I lost a few days here. Um, so June 7th, 2024. I'm walking the hall of the hospital. I need to get some walking done. And I figure this is a good way to get some of it done. Um, Dad's still in pain, but he seems to be doing better. You know, his uh, sounds are less, meaning it was hard to hear him being in pain. Anyway, I'm just kind of walking for exercise and I figured I would take time to give you guys an update. Um, Nancy and I left about almost 10 o'clock last night and I had a doctor's appointment this morning to get stitches out from my surgery that I had. I guess it was two weeks ago. Or I don't know, I saw him two weeks ago. But anyway, so I, I don't see him again for um, three months. So that's that. So Nancy took me today. So I'm just gonna have to figure out how to get there, but I don't have to go for another three months so that I have time. <clears throat> but the cancer center, that's a different story. But I kind of know how to get there. I just have to rehearse it. I just have to get good at Garmin or GPS, whatever, maps. <laughs> anyway. One more step in my progression, right? Is I need to get all that finished. But I need to go home. Dad was going to let me borrow the car to go home, but now I don't know what's going to happen. However, he might be. They are looking. Because he's going to have to go into rehab. Because, uh, yeah. He couldn't really walk very much, you know? He was walking with a walker. He couldn't walk on his own. So he's not going to be getting a whole lot of walking doing going on. <laughs> I don't say my words very well. <clears throat> you know what I mean? He will. I'll just show you down here. Okay. This is their lobby over here. That's nice. I like that. You can sit and eat at the table there and visit. Plus, I imagine the nurses use that too. And then you can come out here. There's another one. Way down there. This is the hospital in Kennewick, Washington. It's pretty close over by Walmart. Anyway, it's a nice place. They seem to know what they're doing. And I've been told they got to get them people up that's had um, hip replacements, and I imagine all replacements, so that their blood circulation is going on. Otherwise, they will lose the use of their leg. So that's not cool. All right, this is 3224. I'm just walking the halls. There's another hall down there, but I'm gonna go up this one. So, I know, I scatter. I just hope Dad does well. That we have a miracle happen. It is going to take some strength to do that. <laughs> Mobility, people. Got to be mobile. I need to use my ointment on myself. I need to rub my hips. I am, um, my liquid gold, I am taking that like I took it this morning. You guys can't see it like I can. I tried showing to you before my veins. 
You can see the blue lines, but they're not poking up quite as much. But if you could really see them up close, they're not as bad as they have been. Meaning they could be a lot bigger. I can see almost all the way around them. Anyway, I'll get me a little bit of walking done. Mobility. Ow, ow, there goes my toe. I'm just walking up and down. Do, 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 do. I'm going to say I should go up here to the lobby. I think I will. There's a TV there, but I don't think I'll turn it on. I just thought I would go out and go for a walk. 3202. So there's the way to go to Dad right there because he's 3214. So I have made a full circle. I should go walk some more. Lobby elevators. So I went out there already, showed you the lobby. See, I made it all the way around. Pretty sunflowers. I just wanted to go for a walk. since I don't know how to use that TV. It'd probably be nice to know for later. We got our iPads, so we're just gonna use our iPads. Do any, well, I guess Skyping, do you call it Skyping? Do I wanna go that way or that way? I already went that way. I think I'll go this way. Standing in the rain. I don't care anymore. Do, 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 do. Just walking down the hallway. Probably should not do that. Pretty interesting how it works. <coughs> got a little, <coughs> got a little use. You know. <coughs> Go to the end and turn and go over and turn. And you have my legs saying, you need to go sit down. <clears throat> so, excuse me for clearing my throat. I need to learn how to pick up my legs so my shoes don't drag. Okay, her other patience is calling her. Okay, now this says lobby elevator. I was just in the lobby elevator area. Third floor lobby elevators, there they go. Okay, and that's how you get to that. Oh man, I think I better have to go and sit down. I need to go to the lobby. There it is. Go, go to the lobby and sit down for a minute. And they have their vending machines in another hallway. But I'm going over here and sit down for a minute. <clears throat> oh. Anyway, Teresa said that Dad's doing a lot better than he was. And I could tell by the loudness. It's not very loud, he's moaning, but he's still moaning. When he has gotten back to being cold, he, uh, his circulation is, yeah, I know, blood circulation, we all know that, right? Anyway, his circulation is not good, so he's cold. You need to get his blood pumping. But just yesterday, I think it was yesterday, he was hot. And I mean, really, to the touch, we touched him and he was hot. His arms were hot, his head was hot, his feet were hot. Feet are never hot. But anyway. I 
I have to get the true story about what happened yesterday after surgery. He said after surgery, he hadn't even gotten up back to his room or anything. They were, he said, two women were dragging him all over the place. <laughs> they probably were. We weren't here. We were downstairs in the waiting room and he had to go to recovery, you know. So it was probably right after recovery. <laughs> he said two women were dragging him all over the place. And I can believe that because, you know, like I said, he has a hard time walking. So, I don't know. So, I don't have a lot going on as far as video. I guess this would be take a walk, take a walk with Blue through the hospital lobby doors, through the hospital walls. Not walls, it's the halls. <laughs> I do. I need to go to Colorado and take care of business. I need to go to Kansas and take care of business. Anyway, so I think I'll just let you guys go. That's enough of an update, right? When I find out more, I'll let you know. And then I'll have to get my iPad out here because there is a table. I could read some scriptures to you or something. I know I was going to do that a long time ago. And since I'm not doing the norm, I can still walk the hallways of the hospital, but I might get in trouble. I think I might get in trouble for that as long as I don't show anything. Nothing like people thinking you're... I don't know what they're thinking. doesn't matter I'm just sharing that's the whole deal I'm sharing life goes on and things happen you know I don't know what's gonna happen with Papa Bear I hope and pray for a miracle It'd be nice if it worked out really good But his leg was what was giving him trouble. That's why it fell. So, any old who, people, summer is upon us. Before you know it, it will be full fledged summer. I was thinking that's like June 21st. I don't know. But anyway, I will bid you adieu. Did I say that right or wrong? do that a lot these days, say the wrong words. As if I'd have to look it up and then figure out what it meant so I could give you the right spelling. <laughs> oh, I need to go walk. Okay, you people. Maybe you could just pick up the, get the app. Okay, first of all, if you want some good um, family movies, that don't have a bunch of crap in it, you know, where you don't see nudity and you don't see sexual acts and all that stuff. You know, that's left for the bedroom, people. Anyway, BYU channel doesn't have all that stuff on it. Now, maybe that's your cup of tea. Maybe you just gotta go for that. But myself, I think there's better things for our children to be watching than sex on TV, really. Nothing like training your children to go out and get in trouble. Open their eyes to things they shouldn't see or even think about. Let them be a child. You people, you're lost. And yes, I know. I know my fella is lost. In the demands of society. Aw. Cute little doggy. Cute, cute, cute little doggy. Okay, I know my eyes are kind of shut. I did get a hit before I left the house to come over here. My brain needs a little attention. Meaning, you know, medicine. What was that song they used to say? Go running for the shelter of the mother's little helper. Well, I can't do that. Valium puts me to sleep, people. 
alcohol makes me pass out. Not pass out, but black out, which is, both are bad. Blacking out means you're continuing on and you are not there. Like uh, that Pink Floyd song, is anybody in there? I know those songs and I know those things. And one of the things I was saying when um, I knew about blacking out was I had a friend that blacked out. So I learned about blacking out from the other side of the street. And she was something else. I'm not kidding you. She would take any drug, any drug that was given to her. She was an addict way back. You know, not just an addict for one thing, but anything and everything. Alcohol. She was a chef and she was drinking while she was cooking. But she, I'm sure she did everything there was that was offered. And she blacked out. And while she was blacked out, boy, she wanted to come kill me. Literally, people, be careful out there. You do not know who's out there. And you can be a total innocent person and be in a lot of trouble. So anyway, that was just a little tidbit. <laughs> I can remember some stories I could tell, but I don't think I should tell them. That's what I was saying the other day. You guys just need to be careful. And you need to not be worried about sex. You need to forget worrying about sex. Unless you're in love. I mean, literally in love, not in lust. because it will repeat itself over and over again. Meaning, what do I mean by that? Go out and do things you shouldn't do. Get your heart involved and wonder what the heck's going on. And then what? I just got distracted. Just saying, you can get your heart all involved and then it all goes awry, and then you're, there you are, brokenhearted. Then you do it all over again. Before you know what's happened, you have fallen in that trap again. I know of which I speak. Anyway, I know I should go back to the room. I haven't visited in a while. I do need to do that. I need to take off and go to the Midwest. I need to go fix my property, so if I need to live there, it's ready. I mean, it's not ready. It needs a lot done. But I would really like to be able to use it and feel good about it. And be anchored down. You need to be anchored down, okay? I have mobile homes. The wind is fierce. I'm talking really fierce, okay? Not always, but sometimes. And you don't want to be rolling down the road. <laughs> if you don't know what I mean. My grandma Smith had a trailer. And I was a kid. Okay, I didn't know much about it. But she had a trailer. And it was up on a hill. And it wasn't just a hill. It was way up higher than down here. Okay, so like a cliff kind of sort of. <laughs> and it's not funny. All I know is that once it was up there... And the next thing you know, it was down there. In other words, it fell off the cliff. It shattered into a million pieces. There was no more trailer for Grandma. You know, and I got, I've got, i got the makings of some good stuff on my property, but it needs to be anchored down. It needs to be put on a foundation. It needs the plumbing done. It could be a nice little place. It really could. If someone put their little button gear you know who I'm talking to. Anyway, such a sad, sad deal because that property could be worth so much more if we just took care of it. We just need to take care of it. Same as my property in Kansas. <laughs> Things just aren't always so easy, easily done. You would think that they would be, especially if you had the right partner. You could just go and take care of business. But oh no, 
No, I'll never get the right partner. Just sit there on your little butt. You know what you're doing. You're not getting anything done. Anyway, I better go back and visit with my family because I don't ever get to see them. I just wanted to do some walking and then I wanted to do some talking. Well, I'm glad Dad's doing better. I mean, maybe as the days go by, he'll be doing better. But they got to figure out where he's going. It'd be nice if we just had somebody who could come and take care of him and live with him. Somebody strong. Not me. <laughs> no, I'm not strong. And I've done more than I should do. But I do need a place to be and I do need to have my surgeries and stuff like that. And I've got to go. Love you guys. And I'll talk to you later, okay? I'll give another update late tonight. Bye.